Anyways, hi. So, uh, welcome back. We're gonna do some more boyfriend dungeoning. Have we done butt stuff with the swords yet? Oh, yes. Um, we have, uh, done some butt stuff with, uh, Sunder. No, I, that's intentional. I'm, uh, very much coughing into the mic, so uh, I'm trying to uh, avoid blasting out your eardrums. Let me know if anything uh, in particular is terrible on the screen, other than me. That's, you know, big jokes. Let's get that out of the way right now. Just big, big, huge jokes for that, um, for, for Roar's bad at things. Anyways, if something is wrong with something uh, in the with the encoder, who do we get blasted by? Sunder, the, uh, the, the guy that... Uh, whose jacket I'm wearing. I, I kept it forever. But I think uh, we need to start out the day as is uh, a customary. We need to go get Isaac. Isaac is a, uh, <clears throat> what is he? He is an Estach. He is an Estach, which is I, I think like a rapier, like some sort of a fencing sword. So we need to, uh, we need to get some love with him. He has so much love. He, he, he is bursting at the seams ready for us. So uh, let's get it. Let's get it going. <clears throat> All right. One second. Let me do, clear my throat one more time. All right. Oh, nice background music here. How y'all doing? Anyways, sorry, I forgot to say hi. Um, I know you have a lot of cool stuff to watch on Twitch, on YouTube, you know, whatever you want in the background noise. I appreciate that you came here. Just a little duck, just wanting to share some, some love with swords on the internet. For you. So welcome. Anyways, the church sanctuary. <clears throat> the church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training space. Why does the duck look like a penis? That really sounds like more of a personal question there, Sprawl. I don't know what to tell you. Hmm. You're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. You could try going a bit slower, or faster, or deeper, or try a different new parry direction. Surprise is the spice of life. And fencing. Go on. Take a stab at it. Throw your weapon. <laughs> is, that, is that a legal fencing move? <laughs> Surprise! Surprise, bitch! <laughs> your foil flies past his head. Hey, hey, now. That is dangerous. Let's maintain decorum in our surprises, shall we? This is a house of the Lord. You practice parries and lunges for a while. Really, again, sounds very sexy. Nice work. You even have me sweating. Uh, on guard! <laughs> you launch into a new duel, and he doesn't spare you an inch. This is so sexual. He deflects every thrust, easily knocking them aside and scoring on you. Rawr! You rush him in a flurry of attacks, which he defends with poise. Oh man, he is rock hard and s you know what? So am I. Ha ha! <laughs> yes! I'm sorry. I hope I didn't frustrate you. I just wanted to see your true level. I half expected you'd throw your sword again. I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I hope. I suppose. And you handled me. Hold on. You handled me rather well, I must say. Yeah, Sprawl's got so many questions. Look, if you see me, if you see, if you look at this, at this right here, at this duck right here that you're in front of you, and you see a ween, I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> um, do I want? Um, I, I don't plan to ever really use repost, but if I plan to use it at all, it would probably have a more forgiving timing. Mm. <clears throat> 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 
you are pink. Um, what color ween are you looking at? We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Uh, your fencing gear suits you, Isaac. Oh? Oh, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Isaac looks away, clearing his throat. I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> use TTS if you want to yell at me. Otherwise, uh, otherwise use some, uh, you know, use the actual, like, how to pronounce it. Because I don't know how to say words sometimes. That's why I'm doing this. <clears throat> I'll, uh... I'll take that as a, let's take a break. Yes. He takes off his, whoa. So I wonder if they switch from them to sword to them again, do they change outfits? Like, can they do like an Alex Mack sort of thing where they turn into a puddle and get into a new outfit? <clears throat> he takes off his fencing jacket, looking around. My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. I actually sleep in the back on a little cot. It's got little mermaid stickers all over it from the time my mother took me to McDonald's. If dungeons were your family tradition, churches were ours, I guess. I never said dungeons were my... What? That is a wild implication. <laughs> I'm just here for the summer. You all decided this was, hey... We don't have a theme park in this city. We're just all going to turn into swords and you're going to wield us in dungeons. This is on you, not me. She came for the community, mostly, but I took to it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in this life, Jeff. Some people suffer. Others become swords. Is... Okay. Is this like... Okay. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in a god of some kind? That's a... Perm IDK on that one, champ. Yeah, I like he, he agnosticism. I love it. Ah, oh, just take me here. Questioning and open-mindedness are important. Even so, I hope you decide one day. Belief can be really strengthening, one way or another. At least we agree that love is power, not just lust. Real, generous, patient love. <clears throat> There was a dialogue option last session that to say that if it was a family tradition, but you don't think you'd picked it. Oh, was there? I uh, don't remember that, but uh, I was too busy looking at those chiseled pecs. I'm, I'm not NGL. I'd like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity you believe in or don't. There are so many suffering people. I want to help them all. You want to go to the mall and help some cassette tapes? I know you like talking business, and I see it as a more powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. You don't say. He releases a long exhalation, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Vincent can be a difficult man. Lots of saber rattling, as it were. <laughs> is he a saber? Is that, is that a joke he'll appreciate? <laughs> Too bad, it's what I'm giving him. Yes. Oh. Oh shit, I thought I was just kidding. He actually was a saber. Yes, my mother was the only one who could wield him. I don't think he's used that form since he passed. I can barely talk to him at all. He wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you get to work up the courage to go into a dunge, even when we're afraid? <laughs> uh, I'm not afraid. I'm like level 30. I'm, we're fine. Oh? Eesh. Tried that with a Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. My mother was the only one who could wield him. It's totally a euphemism. <laughs> I mean, there's so much back and forth between swords and wielding and sex. You never know what they're actually talking about. I think I still have a scar on my hilt from that scuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I found it easier to parry than to go on offensive. 
The crowd starts filtering in. Oh, is it Sunday? <laughs> are, are we, are we uh, practicing here in the church on Sunday? Perhaps a service will start soon. Oh, oh out of time already? How it flies. <laughs> Friends of Bill W. are coming in. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Would you like to offer a gift? Absolutely not. You've got way too much love on you. All the gifts are going to uh, are going to the hammer. Good day, Jeff. Be well, heart. Like I was saying earlier, before I got distracted, if you are looking at this uh, color red and seeing a seeing a badonk, uh, not a badonk, the other side. If you're seeing a ween, you need to look at a doctor, my guy. Uh, who is sending messages? Okay, uh, Isaac. I'm so glad with your progress. Thank you for coming to practice. What's the right emoji to use? Uh, <laughs> definitely prayer eggplant. <laughs> so just random stuff? Okay. <laughs> Knife fire. <laughs> Let us go to the dungeon. Oh, he's so adorable. Somebody needs to protect Isaac. I, I, Isaac's growing on, on me. He's, he's, he's adorable. The company I invested in is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Slicker, the dating app for weapons. Um, am I invited? <laughs> Isaac don't fuck. <laughs> of course. I hope you can attend. Oh, we will change that, Sprawl. No, I didn't want to go now! <sighs> I hate that this game does not... I didn't... I should have left him on red. Ugh. I didn't. It's almost time to leave to meet Isaac at his investor party. You realize you aren't sure what to wear for an investor party. I'm going to ruin this party. I'm going to. I'm so salt. I didn't want to do another stupid Isaac event. Uh, fine. Uh, let's wear something. Um, something. Uh, something sparkly. You dress with panache, voguing at the sexy man in the mirror. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? Why are you projecting anxiety onto me? I've got enough, thanks. You change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. You end up running out just bare ass naked. Finally, you put the first outfit back on and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with an unusual crowd of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private entry tonight. Are you on the list? Well, hello. Uh, he's with Brooks Associates. Jeff knows everyone, huh? <laughs> Sword slut over here. <laughs> oh wow, everybody loves me. Isaac kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. Kiss Stop kissing me! Come off me! Back up! Back! Back! You look... Breathtaking. I didn't realize you had such style. Thanks for coming. Your support, and you're welcome. Your support means so much to me. Uh, all this is for you? Me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gala was for his favorite charity. Where is he? Who this man? A familiar face approaches with a smirk. I see Slicker invited true VIPs. Jeff, is this weapon your date? It's none of your business, you jackass. Ah, but this is exactly my business. Have you seen his blade? Not yet, mate. That's what I'm working on. Get out of here so I can work on that. So fine and straight. I'm standing right here. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone loves a sharp-dressed man, huh? You know what's funny? At this point in the story, we should be about ready to plunge into air into a big dumb idiot's dungeon and uh, you know, just wreck him from the inside out. Why is he at this party? <laughs> I feel like that was a miss. Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. Get out of here, you jackface. How does that ass know you, anyways? I I did. 
feel annoyed. I did last time, remember? Like two two sessions ago. He owns a weapon shop, oh. I guess. Oh my, so there's more to this story. How do you not know that? This town has like four streets. Isaac. Isaac, what is this hellscape? The whiskeys all have multiple malts. I see. The, I see the encoder just died there. Every time the Roar TV changes, the uh, the it's going to yell at me about the encoder dying. Maybe I need to switch to the other encoder. Did Chat GBT lie to me? <laughs> Good evening, Father. Can we have cal a calm, civil conversation? Hm. This is most certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. You bought that. You deserve to have your evening wasted. You told me Dr. Muffin the Third would be here. Yep. Uh, uh, some of these people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't even graduated high school. What have I seen? Someone, tax, someone taps a microphone and the music is turned off. A slicker of executive takes the stage and starts talking about the prophet and sword smooching. Vincent marches out the door. Oh, Dad's mad. <laughs> the slicker executive starts listing all of the hardship they overcame and thanking the investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name and a special thank you for his generosity. Half the crowd wouldn't shut the hell up. It's like, guys, he's trying to make an announcement. You notice Isaac smiling to himself at the speech as the speech ends. Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. This woman has not stopped dancing this entire time. God bless her. She's been like, woo! Brooks Associates. Isaac turns into a sword. Oh, whoa, whoa. Well, I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also in reduce inheritance, but... Where did my father go? He left. Oh, of course he did. Let's get some fresh air. I don't think he would appreciate being told, don't worry about it. Like, that doesn't seem like Isaac's MO. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistants are talking. And that's when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Are you... Are you joking me right now? Wow, that's hilarious. Uh, father? Oh, uh, hi, Isaac. I'm gonna go. Ah, my worthless son. Are you done with your farce? I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing about how much money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner, unless... Don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Uh, excuse me. You wanna... You wanna go, mate? Vincent gestures in your general direction without looking at you. I'm the disaster? Leave Jeff out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. Huh. I'm a... Uh, we can go into the dunge if you like, Vince. Funding these boars isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. Vincent gets in a town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. Hey, Isaac, buddy, you want to get out of here? Mm -mm. I'd love to, but I can't. Guests of honor have their obligations, I'm afraid. You can go whenever you want, but let me introduce you to a few people first. Your friendship is the most valuable investment yet. He offers you his elbow with a small bow. <laughs> He still has so much love. So it's ridiculous how much love. Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. And perhaps a small gift for the gentleman. Ooh. Oh, he gave me a gift. 
I bought you that little thing. I don't know if it's your style, but I like you to have it. I love it. Wonderful. Now let's see what kind of music that DJ started to play. Oh, I'm blushing over here. Aww. You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. Jesus. Okay, Isaac, you're getting left on red. <laughs> Next time I talk to you, you're going to send me all like we're going to go on a, like a vacation to Europe together. Not talking to you again. Woo! Uh, who do we want to talk to? Talk to mom? No, mom's getting left on... Oh god, Isaac's busy sending me random emotes again. Let's go see what's happening here on the beach. There's a random event happening. You find Seven and Sawyer chatting. Seven is shrugging. I just did what felt natural, and I took the opportunities as they came. <gasps> Whoa! I don't understand! You just decided to become a dancer and it happened? Sort of. Yeah, I worked hard, but also got really lucky. Right place, right time. What if it went wrong? What were your plans B, C, and D? What? what? My B, what? B, I have other meds. Oh, you meant a backup plan? No. Whoa! Wow! No backup plans. <laughs> came. Why? What are your life goals then? How did you pick your dream career? I want to change the world! I don't know if that's a career exactly though. Sometimes I want to go help volunteer to help hungry children across the world. But sometimes I want to go fight the greedy politicians that make hunger happen. But most of the time, it's hard enough just to get up in the morning for class. I hear that. It helps when you know you can go to the dungeon with... Jeff. <laughs> afterwards, though, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. I sleep so much better after, too, with all that exercise. Jeff porked me the other day. Uh, thanks, you two. Whoa, Jeff! You've been here the whole time? Holy, holy God! Sneaky, sneaky, but you're welcome, of course. I've been standing here, like, I've, I'm, like, within spitting difference. In distance, excuse me. And welcome to stay. Yeah. yeah! Oh, definitely very welcome to all the compliments. I hope you know you're really special to us. We don't talk about you, like, all the time, but we all just... God, we all just really, really want you to wield us. Really badly. You're a mutual interest, you could say. Like Korean barbecue. Um, um what? Jeff isn't like food at all. Sawyer's like, yeah, he... Oh, wait. Mm. <laughs> Oops. Sure, sure he is. We both like him. We go out for him and... What else? You're just hungry. <laughs> You're right. How did you know? I heard there was free pizza in one of the dorms. You want to come? Nuh-uh. Nah, I have got millions of dollars. I'll pass this time. Talk to you both later. See you soon, I hope. <laughs> Sawyer's like... That guy's a K-pop star. They, bo they both go on their separate ways. I'm glad we had that conversation of Sawyer sitting on the beach, geeking out. <laughs> Isaac, you're getting left on red. Who's our next date? We need to go on a, um, a couple dates. We are drastically behind on our dates. Not you. It says there's a love date there, but I can't do that date because I because uh what's it you know? That's a big dumb idiot's thing. It can't be right, right? I don't want to deal with emo guy. Not yet. Or excuse me, emo they. Do I have any other dates? Oh shoot, I might be down to the last date. I might need to go into the dunge. All right, let's go. Uh, let, let's let's go tell this person that we got their bird. Hey, we we didn't get your stupid cryptic messages. You you sent four post-it notes on our on our wall, and then thank God you sent your raven to actually do the work for you. You anti-social. <laughs> it's like just if you want to smooch, let's smooch. You find Rowan waiting outside the mansion. They give you a brief nod. <sighs> Ugh. 
suppose you want me to invite you in for tea, because people do that. I like tea. Good. Then you will help me gather brewing supplies. I was going to look for an herb on the mountain. Seems like a glorp. Is this a glorp? I don't know. We could ask. Crowley thought you might want to help. Is your bird's name Crowley? Oh, The bird looks at you pointedly from Rowan's shoulder. I love you. Nice to meet you, Crowley. Crowley bobs his head, clicking his beak. Pretty human. If he vouches for you, that's good enough for me. Let's get going. Um, I enjoy a hike. Yes! yes. <laughs> it's settled then. They start walking off towards the hills. I don't know if crows and ducks ever, you know, you know, I don't think they interbreed, so I don't know if that's a thing. I'm, besides, I am already taken. You walk together along a narrow trail in silent companionship. I love the background here that we, you just saw it for just a minute, but if you took away Rowan, this it would be such a liminal space of like, a kind of background that took about four seconds to make. It's like, this looks really nice over here on the right, but the background sort of just abstract shapes behind Rowan. Take a drink. Here. Alice once found a laurel sumac and black sage here somewhere. Um. Since the hike is over, uh, listen. Don't get all macho on me. I need you to do something, please. Just rest here, right on this rock. I'll be back. Is this a snipe hunt? Are you snipe hunting me? Am I being snipe hunted? Um, I'll chat with Crowley. Can I, can I wait with the bird? No. No. Bird's coming with me. You don't get to date the bird. Was the cat not enough? <laughs> Crowley's a good bird. We'll handle this. Stay put. Yeah, see the background here? It's like just sort of the impression of mountains. They wade into the underbrush without looking back. You wait for a while. The breeze is soft and the sun is warm. In the movie, The Exorcist, the vomit that Regan, Linda Blair hurls at Father Damien Kara's is thick pea soup, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thick pea soup, ah, yeah, yeah. But a guy can only take so much breeze and sun. You start feeling antsy. I'm gonna gather some wildflowers. <laughs> Ooh, excellent. I got, I, got a, I got a flower crown. I wonder if that's something you could miss. You gather flowers from nearby and weave them into a chain. As you finish, Rowan returns. I got you a chain of flower. Some days I feel more feminine, but not today. I'm just trying to give you a gift, jackass. You have some skill with your fingers. That much is clear. Would you like to see more? <laughs> Crowley is a British surname. Pronounced sort of like Crowley. <laughs> I love the TTS sometimes. Crowley is so, sort of pronounced like Crowley. 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 It's a crow. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not pronounced crow? Probably. I found the laurel sumac, but not the black sage. Bro, can we just get some twinings? <laughs> like, I will take some Lipton's. Would you like to offer a gift? Sure, I guess. Um, you, you would love a mystery novel. Holy God. I am confident that I will solve the mister the murder before the protagonist if the facts are described in enough detail. Oh well, it's too late anyways. Um, what do you wonder? No. No. By the way, why did you go off into the woods? Did you have to like pee? It's fine. You could just tell me. It doesn't matter. I have to face this. It's just me now, Jeff. I have something important to ask you. Ooh, I went on a date with seven weapons and I went on a date with all of the weapons, nice. If you were to wield me, what would be your end goal? Um, I don't think either of them is, uh, <laughs> I don't think either of them he would like. 
I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm here for love, Rowan. Rowan laughs darkly. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna like that, but I don't think strength is the right option either. I'm not sure either of those is a good option. Flattery or sincerity? I can't tell. Perhaps I'll never know. They lead you down the mountain, silent in thought. At the edge of town, they pull a black rectangle from their pockets. Our dark prisms are connected. <sighs> Boo this man. They poke their prism and your phone vibrates. Their eyes catch on your flower chain and their lips quirk briefly into a quiet smile. I don't know if our purposes align quite, but call on me. Also, I didn't mean to misgender. Boo this person. <laughs> call on me if souls need harvesting. Farewell. For now. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I love your bird. They, I will tolerate more dates with Rowan if, if uh, Crowley or Crowley or, or, or Rowan's bird will come with him. They go on their separate way and you head home. Have we gone on a date with Sawyer yet? Oh God, he is so getting left on red. Woo. Oh boy, oh boy. Who have we not taught? Uh, um, Jonah. Jonah needs to go into the dunge. Leah probably needs to go into the dunge. Pocket's done. Big dumb idiot doesn't need anything. Sawyer, before we go into the dunge, we need to talk to Sawyer and Seven. Let's talk to Seven first. We'll, we'll end with Seven. Or, uh, excuse me. We'll talk to Seven first. We'll end with Sawyer. How about a movie? How about a movie? How about a movie? <laughs> getting, getting a little desperate, Seven. <laughs> You want to go see Barbie? You can go for horror action. Um, action, I guess. Yeah, okay. How about we see the dunge? Showing at 6.30 in most nights. I hear it's good. Let me know. I don't like Seven at all. Me, you inside. Don't bring the fan club. So glad we talked. Do I have like a date to go on with? So he said he wanted to go to a movie, right? Or, is, or was that saying to go to the dunge? I, I don't know if he was trying to be quirky or not. No, it actually is a date. So let's go, let's go talk to Sawyer. Just, gosh, Sawyer is so exhausting. Or excuse me, Seven. How many S names? You and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. The film features a virtuous hero struggling against the odds to save her son. We can do this, but we have to work together. <laughs> I bet the son's going to be a sword to save her. A katana, maybe? Before long, the sidekick dies and Seven frowns. Eventually, the hero mother emerges victorious, son standing so proudly beside her. The lights come up, and you leave the, ha the theater. Oh, man. Maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. What did you think? Um, you know what? I like spending time with you, Seven. I mean, I didn't, but you'll like that, I guess. Seven eyes you thoughtfully, but doesn't reply. I feel like Seven is the kind of person that needs to have some, like, affirmations that say, you know what? I appreciate you as a person, Seven. Even though you're a wet, wet, sopping wet sock. You want a gift? I don't have much. You want some eyeliner? There you go, buddy. Oh, dark eyeliner? That's... Kind of cool, thanks. I feel like I might have given them eyeliner before, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, chain lightning can reach farther, or chain lightning stuns enemies. Reach farther, definitely. Uh, speaking of wet socks. Oh, wow. Hi, guys. I totally didn't know you'd be here. Hi. Seven makes a face as if ple pleading silently for a rescue. Uh, we were just le um, uh, I don't, neither of these are great. Okay. Bye, Olivia. I'm just going to be rude. I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven, I, I wrote this personal letter. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take it. Fans are important to me. Uh-uh. No, that... Sorry, can you deliver it for me? Seven blinks. It's for Sungwoo, my ultimate bias. Can you give it to him for me, please, please, please? <laughs> oh, is that one of the other bandmates? Oh, I don't uh, care. Uh, he stares at her for several seconds. Uh. Nuh-uh. Such a D-bag. <laughs> Such a bag. He's such a sopping bag. <laughs> Seven walks away. Huh? Wow. Fame sure has gone to his head, huh? Olivia's holding an envelope. Sung Woo is written on it with hearts for O's. I'll just have to figure out where Sung Woo's staying, I guess. That's stalking, Olivia. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it either. It's endowed with my scent. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. Did that say Lucifer with us in the background there? You hold, you you head home. Well, I'm going back to the theater. I need to know more about. Oh, shut up! I'm leaving you on red. I, I need to go back to that theater. What is going on? Lucifer within us in 3D is playing on multiple screens. Uh, do I need any of this crap? I'll buy uh, some dark essences, I guess. Um, let's talk to... Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Seven. Uh, Sawyer. We, you've been so patient. Oh, God. <laughs> Sawyer's been waiting. <laughs> Sawyer's like in class, desperate for help from their boyfriend. Help! Urgent! What is Cow Cow's other title besides Chancellor? Uh, who? I kind of know who they are. Not really. Not much better than Sawyer does, to be 100% honest. Emperor something, I think? Of China? Uh, no time, please. Cow Cow's other title. Um, Emperor, uh, Wu of Wei. Sure. I don't know. Are you at the front of the class? Thanks! Sweat emoji. Good talk, Sawyer. Is that is that all you needed? Do we have a date ready? I know Sawyer is ready for a date, right? Sawyer's like super. Oh. Fine. Had to go. Sorry. Talk to you later. Yeah, sure. A lot of drama there. All right, I think it's time to head into the dunge. One second. All right, let's go. Chancellor cock cock. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Uh, who need? Who actually needs to go? Definitely Jonah. Jonah needs bad. Uh, which floor would we like to go to? I guess straight to floor six. Why not? Let's head on down. We need, to, we need to do some, uh, we need to do some dungeon. I wonder if they have classes on basket weaving. <sighs> nice to see you too, Jonah. Whoa, I'm super boring. Also, uh, the outfit that Jeff's going with is, um, me hit, hit, Huh. That was fun. <laughs> Good fight. 
<laughs> you feel a bit woozy and fatigued. A sudden sneeze interrupts your thoughts. You wonder if you're getting sick. Well, good thing I'm going to the hospital then. I wonder if that reset some people's uh, messages. There we go. We Thankfully, going to the dunge reset some messages. And unfortunately, Jesse is still unable to uh, get some sweet loving until we go down to the dunge. All right, Sawyer. Sorry about my last message. I was in the middle of a test. Who let you keep your phone? I shouldn't have had you let me help me cheat, even though your answer was right. Really sorry. Won't do it again. In fact, to make up for it, here's a picture of a cute puppy I saw at the park. Aww. How are you? Um, I think I've got a cold. Oh my god, hold on. Oh, Sawyer's coming over? You sniffle and cough. Your throat and nose feel raw and sensitive. Hi, Sawyer arrives after a few moments, blasting the main theme from her jam box. Or excuse me, their jam box. Whoa, you look awful. I, I mean, uh, you definitely have a summer cold, but check this out. I don't know if you believe in stuff like this, but you must have a guardian angel. Just this morning, I had a sudden urge to make chicken soup. Maybe I'm a telepath. I don't trust your food. Did you burn down your dorm? How did you know there was a fire? Was it on the news? Oh, I put it out real fast. Oh, you were joking. Ha ha ha. No, silly, I've been learning from you. Look, my crowning glory, chicken soup, a personal medicine from Jeff's, co from Jeff's common cold. Made with a secret ingredient, love, and MSG. I mean, I didn't know it was for you when I was cooking it, but I'm sure it still tastes good. You haven't tasted it? I tried, but it burned my mouth, and now I can't taste anything. Sawyer pours two servings of soup, and you sit down together. The soup is unusual. There's a floral scent, and the broth is a gray-blue color. I don't, I don't want to eat this. As you dip your spoon, the surface wobbles. There's no way this is normal chicken soup. Are you joshing me right now? Bon appetit! I bet you're gonna love this soup a la Sawyer. I mean, I'll try it, I guess. You bring the spoon to your lips. The floral scent is stronger and slightly rotten. I hate this. In a moment of bravery, you take a sip and swallow. <laughs> you jam up just barely to the next level. All finishers also set enemies on fire. It tastes fruity, yet familiar, and the texture is chewy. That's not soup, not... <laughs> Sawyer, soup should not be chewy. Soup should not be chewy. A warmth spreads from your belly. This is Sawyer. Watching you, Sawyer's face changes into fear and dismay. You feel as if a soft, golden light has wrapped itself around your shoulders. What's, what's happening? You lose the consciousness. <laughs> a little dramatic. Jeff? J Jeff! You wake up feeling refreshed and energized. Sawyer's by your side. Oh my jeez, are you okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, what happened? You passed out for about six hours. You talk a lot in your sleep, you know that? You talked about just having... Having... Sleep with a lot of swords. But I found the problem. I used cough syrup. Like, a lot of it. That shouldn't have made it... How? You realize that's why the soup tasted familiar. Cough syrup. You felt like gagging. How? Um... I thought it'd just add a fruity flavor and maybe some sweetness. Like a blueberry syrup. I need you, Sawyer... To not ever make anything to eat for anyone else ever again. Like a blueberry syrup. You wonder how to break it to them that blueberry syrup would also not belong in chicken soup. I mean, maybe the syrup helped. You look much better than before. More alive. 
Maybe soup a la Sawyer is actually a healing potion. Maybe more than bubble tea. I mean, it knocked me out for six hours, Sawyer. Hey, that was some seriously healing sleep. I should make more and sell it. Though I'll have to stock up on more cough syrup. Or blueberries when they're in season. Anyway, now that you're awake, I should go study for my last final. Sawyer's gonna fail their class because of us. But first, I got you a little gift. A thank you for all the cooking lessons. Aww. You don't have to use these headphones, but I thought you might have fun with them in the dunge. I love them, Sawyer. Well, I'm sorry again that I asked you to cheat for me. I just got too worked up. Next time, I'll think of your disapproving face. Look at this face right here, Sawyer. Think of me kissing you. Oh yeah, brilliant. I'm a telepath too, so maybe you'll feel it. Wait, that would make me not focus on the exam. Now I don't even know if I could focus on studying. Oh, what have you done? I'll give you a quick kiss goodbye. You're going to fail your exam so badly. I'm so sorry, Sawyer. Meeting us was the worst thing you could have done. Sawyer waves and closes the door softly behind them. Failing college. Oh jeez. Okay, everyone's talking. I need to go back into the dungeon because I need to get Jonah up a level. Before we, uh, before we go, is this our? Is this Rowan? Okay, I gotta stop. I I, I gotta stop on the way to the dungeon to see Rowan and Pocket. Oh good. I'm gonna take a quick drink. One second. You hear squawking and meowing echoing down the street. Hmm. Pocket mrows as if in warning. Crowley replies with an annoyed caw. Good day. Look, both of you, here's Jeff. Maybe he can help you decide. Rowan, you talking to the animals, mate? <laughs> because by golly, I approve. I'm an honorary cat. Crowley and Pocket found a freshly dead mouse. At the same moment. Crowley said he deserves it because he wouldn't waste the bones. You found a dead mouse. Crowley bobs in agreement. Pocket says he deserves it because he's the greatest cat that ever lived. That's true too. Agreed. Pocket agrees cheerfully. Yes, that's agreed. Yes. Can we have a uh, round of applause for a, uh, you know, a absolutely spot on. Uh, what do you think they should do? Can you split it in half, you gross animals? They don't like that idea. Facts. Now they're fighting over who gets which half. This will never end. Split it down the middle. Forget it. Crowley, we're going home. I'll get you your own mouse. Thanks, Jeff. Blessed be. I'm so glad we had that conversation. You return to your afternoon wandering. A little dumber than you were before. Let's try this again. Oh, I need to get Leah up a level too. I really, though, need to get Jonah. Jonah, then Leah. Let's try to not immediately die. Let's let's start on level three. Get used to uh, get used to going back into the dungeon again. Whatever happens tonight, I'm glad we're here together. Ooh. These things do so much damage. Okay, I think I'm getting how this thing works. Pocket really is the best cat. I don't, frankly, I don't think Pocket would go, f cats don't typically go for dead animals, right? They don't really scavenge animals that often. 
They like to kill their own animals. And if Pocket killed that animal, then, you know, Pocket deserves it. But I don't think Pocket, a sapient beast, would be like, look at this, look at this roadkill. That's mine. I don't, I don't think that's really Pocket's MO, you know? I forgot that um, that Jonah is at level one, so yeah, it's gonna be a little a little weaker against these uh, later level enemies. It's probably good that I started uh, a few levels earlier, a few levels shallower in the dungeon. If you know what I mean. But so far, we are let's let's take a few minutes while we're here in the dungeon to to sort of take stock of where we're at. In, uh, in, Je in Jeff's love life. We have three weapons that we are, that are madly in love with us. Uh, one of them is a, uh, this is a sexy vampire who has been alive for hundreds of years and doesn't know how to run a club. Um, I'm gonna come back for this. One of them is a, uh, uh, a mysterious painter who likes to who likes to do a bunch of graffiti, I guess. I don't know. Who cares? She made a big deal out of it, and I'm still not sure I really care at all, and nobody does. But nobody, nobody tell her. That would make her feel bad. I never really understood capital A art. Like, sure, some things look good, others don't. What's the point of paintings that look like my five-year-old niece could make them? Uh, context and culture, you, 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 Philistine. Hmm. It's true that I don't know almost anything about it, so I should be quiet. Read a book. Would you like to offer a gift? Sure. You want a love letter? This won't be awkward at level one. Whoa! I didn't, I, thank you. Maybe when we have some extra time, we can go to the art museum. I'd love to know what I'm missing. In the meantime, these monsters can splatter the paint and we'll splatter them. Man, he loved that. This Jonah is a desperate man, isn't he? He's like, oh my God, this is our first date and you're giving me a love letter? Woo. Holy, holy Hosefat. Everyone loves it. I feel like there should be like a trigger in place for this is our first date. I, I feel like he shouldn't be super excited about them right now. Like nobody should be delivering love letters on their very first date. I don't know. I guess that's probably beyond the game coding. Or beyond what they wanted to bother coding anyways. We never saw a date with Leah or Jonah, did we? Oh, fancy computers. I don't really think I need more hardware in my life, though. My phone and my laptop handle everything I need. Maybe I'm not ambitious enough with my computer use. What would you calculate if you had the best computer ever? Like, ever, ever? Uh, I guess, uh... The cure for cancer. It sounds like something you'd like to hear. <laughs> Very noble. I like it. Approved. Well, be careful when you swing me around. I don't mind busting up printers, but these look more useful. Someone other than us, I guess, anyway. You feel an impulse to give her a gift, but you don't have anything to give. I need to uh, make some gifts, I think. I'm pretty sure the uh, the ads are going to be starting up soon, and I apologize profusely for them. It will be a great time to go up and get a drink uh, and go pee-pee, which is probably what I'm going to do. But I don't like pre-roll earls anymore, and apparently no one else does either, so... Uh, it's called Twitch being bad. And you gotta do what you gotta do. Twitch will warn before it happens, though. Don't you... 
Don't you worry. I'm not sure what those little diamond things below the stream are doing. Before, below the, uh, below Jeff. I'm not sure what, th what that indicates. I really don't like this, uh, this zine very much. The, the lightning one does not do very well at all. Oh. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I'm gonna be using that next room. Look how I can see him down there just screwing around. Okay, that sucks. Let's not use that. Like, all of my setup sucks. Like, the... the drinks suck. The... And it doesn't project projectiles. That makes sense. There's a room with a lot of projectiles in it. I think I want to get the uh, the little spiders. That's a great zine right there. The little spiders that go out and murder people. Over here and grab these. Always this one, thank you. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Leah's fighting style, I'm not gonna lie. We'll get him next time. Which is just as well, because I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Fortunately, we got the uh, love rank, at least. That was was important. Uh, at least that was a level for me. I wonder if there is a achievement for getting level 50. I'm guessing there is. Alright, who's got a text for me? I'm sure somebody wants to talk to me. Oh, we got we got we got Twitch ads coming in a minute, so I guess it's just as well. Get your dicks ready, cause I, I cause I, I gotta go I gotta go pee. Uh, Leah, meet her at the. I'm teaching a lot these days, but I'd love to meet you again. Meeting at the skating rink. Okay, yeah, we'll meet at the skating rink in just a few minutes. Uh, somebody's ready for a date, uh, and it's definitely me. So, once again, apologies for the ads. If you hate ads, you know. Maybe just show this Twitch Prime. Just show this Twitch Prime. Just show this Twitch Prime. Just show this But I'm going to mute. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Drink a quick drink of quick drink of juice. Still, ads still coming. I don't like those pre-roll ads. So uh, while while ads are running, let's do some uh, some quick crafting. Oh, I bet you. Uh, I, I bet you the cat really loves that one. Let's craft this. these there they go welcome back a lot of these recipes would be great for the people we've already maxed out unfortunately unfortunately irrelevant now like nail polish. Frying pan. Who wants all this crap? Who's out there accepting the frying pan? Shouldn't be something I'm offering at any date. Unless someone out there is a chef. I don't think anyone in this game so far that I've seen has been a chef. Party hat needs plastic. Doppelganger needs uh, carpet materials. Our new outfits. Ooh, Wrangler outfit or blacksmith outfit. Do I have like a black, excuse me, do I have like a blacksmith hat? Ooh, beverage heals more. Oh yes, please, I'll take that, thank you. All right, so who, frying pan, oh, good point. Sawyer just loves to uh, cook, don't they? Who's ready for a thing? Like, everyone's ready for a thing. Let's go straight, we waited so long for Jonah. Let's go, let's go to Jonah. We haven't done Jonah yet. Hey, I got a new job. Congrats, Jonah. Thanks, smiley face. A steady income is going to be nice. Meet me at Bravura and I'll treat you to dinner. Uh, that's a terrible idea. A terrible financial decision. But yeah, sure, whatever. You, you really should let me pay for dinner. I can afford it. You just got a job. Like, unless you are just making, like, bank. You better not be buying dinner. I will buy dinner. Don't you dare. You find Jonah, who dressed up for the evening, sitting alone at a table, fidgeting with a napkin. Hey. hey. Oh, hey, Jeff. Glad you can make it. This f this place is too fancy to be alone in. Then why'd you pick it? Thanks for inviting me. Oh, it, it's nothing, really, but you're welcome, of course. <laughs> I can afford it tonight, because this is where I work. I'm Bravura's newest employee. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, you're a mascot. <laughs> You think you'd find that funny? <laughs> I wish this place could use someone in a fork costume, don't you think? I'm the newest sous chef. Sous means something in French. I should look that up. I think it's like assistant, like second chef, something like that. I don't know. Kitty! Kitty! I need, you know French. <sighs> Boo this man! Not you, Felonoid. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. It means under, because you're working under a real chef, obviously. Uh, hey, thanks. Hi, Eric. You're here for dinner, too. No, I just hang out in restaurants in the evening, inspecting their cutlery. Yes, of course I'm here for dinner. It's a shame I don't have a date like Jeff to share it with. It's not too late to twitch tables, mon cher. I have a free seat. You're going to jail. And it astounds me that the game does not pick up on that. No. It was a joke anyway. Enjoy your meal. I, enjoy I recommend the tartar. 
I know that's not how you say it, but I imagine that it, big dumb idiot just doesn't know how to pronounce Tartar. Do you want to join us? I'm sure the waiter won't mind. Ew. What? And be the third wheel to a jellyfish? No thank you, Jonah. I have an image to uphold. Big dumb idiot swans deeper into the restaurant without looking back. Oh, big dumb idiot. You were so much cooler back in the day. Anyway, uh, yeah, sous chef. I prepped the ingredients for cooking. Lots of chopping and slicing and dicing. Whoa! <laughs> Jonah, we're in a restaurant. <laughs> um, do I want chance, enemies hit by a swing of a 50% chance of being stunned or 50% chance of bleeding? Let's go with stunned. Bleeding is probably the better option, but I really like stunned. A second sous chef wields me. Okay. It's sort of refreshing using my weapon side for something productive. Oh. Oh. You're... Oh, you're literally chopping the ingredients. When I was a teen, my mom and I would chop firewood sometimes, but it was mostly just for fun. Honestly, nobody needs firewood in Verona Beach, but they do need chopped food. That must feel good. You whacking your face against a, against a cutting board a bunch of times. It does, actually. I love it. I'm like a, I'm like a woodpecker. There's nothing but cartilage behind these eyes. I just wish the head chef would lighten up a little. She gets really stressed out, like, way too much. Welcome to the world of culinary. <laughs> of uh, culinary arts, my friend. She even insults people in the kitchen sometimes. Throws things at them. One time, she threw me at the wall. I stuck in there. I was stuck there for three hours. Nobody got me down. I hate this fucking job. Not my vibe. Anyway, what's going on with you? Any news from the Dunge front lines? Uh, you were there. We died in three seconds, remember? Your meal arrives and you chat while you eat. The pasta is homemade and the sauce rich. You barely managed to finish your plate. <laughs> Jonah's over there like, I, I want that, I want that, I want that. Give me, give me, I want, give me food. Give me, give me, give me. I want that. Can I, hold, hold on. Are you, uh... Are you, are, you, are, you, are, you gonna, are you gonna are you gonna eat that? Are you gonna? I am hungry still. <laughs> Anyways, you want to share a dark chocolate cake or the? Hmm, I don't know how to pronounce this. You should, jackass. You're the chef. <laughs> let's get a. Sure, let's let's share. Jonah smiles and orders one cake with two forks. You savor the bittersweet chocolate together in all its fluffy, yet crunchy, ganache-laden textures. He is, he's adorable, but my golly, he's, uh, got some work. We've got some work to do. That was perfect. I mean, I don't know if this was actually worth ten times my own cooking, but it was an experience. This is going to be your own cooking next week, boss. With the employee discount, it only costs nine times my own cooking anyways. Cha-ching! You only get 10%? <laughs> I guess I'll still have to go to the dungeon sometimes if I want to afford board wax. Because I surf. May I walk you home? It's good to walk after such a rich meal. Uh, I'd like that, Jonah. Ooh. You wander homeward companionably, enjoying the crickets and the evening breeze. What would that be like? I think Sawyer needs about eight steps backwards and Jonah needs about three steps forwards. So that would put us at about a comfortable level. So yeah, you're, you're, you're about right. Outside your apartment, Jonah hesitates, suddenly tense. I, I know Jesse mentioned we dated ages ago. Sorry. It was only for like a week. Wait, you dated Jesse? Oh, cool. You have stories about Jesse? Tell me. I want to hear about his donger. I wish you hadn't if it makes you feel weird. You're super different from him. Tell me about his don. I uh, like you a lot, and I, I guess you should know that. Give me, a, give me a smooch, Jonah. Give me a smooch. As you lean into him, you catch a scent of the sea. Gross, wild, and lightly spiced. Gross. 
I don't want to smell the sea when I'm leaning into my man. You're wrapped in him, a, his chest a solid wall of warmth, a hint of dark chocolate left on his tongue. Whoa. Yeah, all right. So that's really something. Oh, gosh. She just down, down, down. Night, handsome. See ya. He wanders off, a silly smile on his face. You go upstairs and fall in the bed, just dreams of an axe handle, just buried deep. <laughs> oh, who's texting me? Oh, oh God. <sighs> uh, seven, I can't deal with you. Let's let's talk to Rowan. I'm, I'm ready to talk to... I'm, I'm not ready. I, I don't think I'm ever going to be ready to talk to Rowan, but uh, here we are. Our journey is begun. We are the fool. Yep, I'm a fool. Perhaps, but that's not what I meant. Though I've lost my high priestess. Hey, so I'm really very sorry for how I acted when we met. I was really emotional and I took it out on you and that was wrong. Please, can you forgive me? Forgiven, I guess. I don't know why you were mad at me to begin with. I don't remember who Alice was. Is Alice someone... Uh, Shut up. I don't remember who Alice was. Thank you. Godspeed. <laughs> Not even close to what that said. Sorry, that was Crowley. Though, I could use your help. Bullshit. 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 Colin, bullshit. Where's my bullshit bell? Bullshit. That was a bullshit. You did not have your bird fake text me. Though, I could use your help. An appraiser is coming to assess my inheritance, and I don't wish to be alone with him. Will you come? Of course. Thank you. Okay, so he's going to wait. He's waiting for that. Who else... Who else wants a text? Um, fine. Actually, we haven't talked to Isaac in forever. It's been a while since we sparred, and my office has been quiet lately. Do you want to make some macaroni in my back office? How about a fencing lesson? Sure thing, Isaac. <laughs> Bring the low-cut jeans. The boots with the fur. Hey, Jonah, I'll talk to you later. Well, hello. Well, hello. You seem to be getting the hang of parrying, so today we'll try the repost. After a parry, a repost, which is how I'm going to pronounce it until somebody tells me otherwise, lets you thrust in return. He glances at the door, and then back to you, and then back at the door, and then back to me. Here, it's easier if I show you. Go ahead and attack me. Ha <laughs> ha! Isaac deflects easily. You lean straight into his foil, pressing into your shoulder. The more aggressive the attack, the more vicious the repost. It turns the attacker's energy back upon them. I don't think that was the right one. I think you did the uh, sound effect and not the text-to-speech. Repost. There you go. Thank you. Yep, that was right. Isaac glances at the clock. Look at that. Hold on. I hate to give them crap about their art. Why are they the same cost? Which, I don't know. Um, I could make one different cost. Do it right now. You watch me. Which one, which one would you like, it would make more sense earlier? I guess uh, probably, if you're looking at it, they're right next to each other. Shouldn't text to speech be on the right, like on the left, though? Or would you prefer it in the middle? Uh, 
I'll, I'll be honest, Villanoid, I haven't really looked at this in a while. At least I don't look at the prices of them. Here, I will make... I will make uh, text-to-speech... 101. And just to be arbitrary, I'll make the play sound effect 99. Nobody likes consistency. Here, I'll attack you. Parry, and then step forward and attack immediately. Ale! Every time he asks me to do something, I'm going to immediately lunge as fast as possible. Isaac slowly attacks, and you parry, then thrust, making a touch. Right. And that's the repost. He attacks. You practice it as a drill a few times. He's sweating more than usual. <sighs> Guess that's enough for today. I'd like to talk to you about something. He takes off his gear and pours refreshments. <sighs> my father has finished a hostile takeover of my firm. He bought a majority and discredited me with the board. That sucks. So my time is just about over at Brooks Associates. I only have today and tomorrow. Your dad sucks, dude. I try not to care what he thinks. He's a foolish, closed-minded old man. <gasps> I've officially disowned him and cut off contact. But now, I'm going to lose everything I've built here because of him. How can I not care? Oh, your dad is... Um, be proud of what you did. Right. I know. I am proud, I promise. I tell myself that all the time. But I'm really glad I talked to you. I'm sorry to burden you. Yeah, that's... That's a crap thing to do. I guess this is our last time fencing in the office. Tomorrow is my last day. From here on out, we need to go down to the synagogue, apparently, because that's how this damn clown town works. I sold my stock. I'll be comfortable when I sort out what to do next. It'll be a bit like starting over. I've lost so much. Hmm. Try to focus on fencing. with <laughs> This... This fencing helmet here, I keep looking back at this fencing helmet over here as the most ridiculous thing I've seen in this game. But it's not working. Maybe I should give up for the day. Why don't you want to go out and get some ice cream, Isaac? Or I could make a house call for a uniquely talented fencing student like you. Sounds sexy. Well, it's tempting to want to get closer to you any way I can. But your temptation might be too strong for me right now. God, this guy moves at a snail's pace. I know I'm not in a great place emotionally right now, and I dream about you. Uh. Uh, I just came. I need to know we're committed to each other before we can be intimate. If you're out there just humping other swords, I don't know what to tell you. Otherwise, I'll just regret it afterwards, and I don't want to regret anything with you. <laughs> Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Isaac? I respect your boundaries. But don't worry. I promise I'm not trying to rush you. What are you talking about? I'm just being clear about my requirements. Take your time and think about it. He leans in and gives you a long kiss. He gives you that creepy LeVar Burton look. I suppose this is good night for now. Thank you for your companionship. It's three in the afternoon, Isaac. You head home. I've been dreaming about you. Am I going to pull up the phone and get a big old picture of Shaft? I've been dreaming about you. I'm leaving you on red. Who? Seven. <sighs> Fine. God, you're tired. You're tiring. Still thinking about that movie. The characters were so stupid. The villain should have seen them coming. Fictional characters make the worst decisions. We're all sometimes we're all dumb sometimes. Hint hint. Not that dumb. Not when my life's on the line. Or yours, I hope. Oh well. My agent gave me comp tickets to a concert. It'll probably be awful. Some newbie locals doesn't even have light sticks. Not that you'd need one, since I'll be there. Whatever. You wanna go with me? I not really, but you know, I like achievements, so sure. Okay, it's at La Rosa. Meet you there. 
fine, I guess. Hey. Hey. Ready to laugh at some small town garbage together? Can you, like... Everyone start somewhere, Seb. Stop being such a negative <laughs> brat. Oh, wow. You're not naive, huh? It's cute. In today's music world, most superstars are manufactured. The discovered indie is a myth. That's not true at all. Sorry to burst your bubble. It'd be nice if it were true. It's not true at all. You both here from my sky, McQueen? Seven. Seven of what? <laughs> ah, I get it. Hold on, I got this. There you go. I only see two of you. No, my name. It's Seven. On the list? With Blade Generation? Oh. oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> the bouncer kisses you both. The bouncer waves you inside. You bump into someone at the entryway. If this is Olivia, I'm going to be so mad and lose sight of seven. Huh. Even worse. Imagine meeting you here. This is actual stalking. Out on another date? Come on, Jeff. This doesn't impress me. I don't know who did anyone ask whether Jeff was impressed by my prowess with hump and swords? I liked your first date. I liked your inexperience and purity. Ugh. Nobody likes well-used weapons or people. You should be more discerning. I'm not here to impress you, big dumb idiot. Dressed like that, mon chéri? <laughs> you want to impress someone. Hey, I know this creep. You don't take no for an answer, do you? You turned him down too? I get approached by a lot of fans, so I normally wouldn't remember. Uh. Except this guy took it so personally, he basically threw a fit. Pathetic. Hmm. I'm so sorry if a romantic who believes in courtship... It's not courtship if Jeff isn't interested. Back off. Ugh. <laughs> 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 You think you're so great. I was friends with Jeff before you. We've never been friends. So enjoy sloppy seconds, and you absolutely haven't had that. Trust me. He's gonna get seconds, but it's not gonna be yours. -uh. I said back off or else. You do violence, little sword man, against a knight templar. I might. This is your final warning. The sword of the crowd parts around you, holding their breath to see what happens next. I'm gonna need you both to step outside. You sword guy, non-sword guy, sword guy with the ha with the anvils, get out of the hair. Er, uh, big dumb idiot flees, pushing concert goers out of his way in his rush. No problem here, sir. Do that again and I'm blacklisting you. I don't care how famous you are. Mm -hmm. Seven takes a deep breath and inhales slowly. Thanks for the help. Seven shrugs. The piano player stops and doesn't respond, looking away. The crowd cheers as two figures takes the stage. It's Marsky and McQueen! They don't introduce themselves, they just start in, head down into the music. You and Seven bob to the rhythm. The crowd around you starts to dance. Hold on, I got something for this. I did have something for this. There we go. The duo plays a long set, deep into the night. Afterwards, as the crowd filters out, Seven, you can go away now. Thank you. Seven squeezes your hand. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually cool. I forgot that I used to like going to concerts. Chain lightning can strike two extra enemies. Nice. It's so refreshing to see people who don't, who care about the music and not their ego. 
weren't you just crabbing right before that, that, about people that the indie scene wasn't real? Thanks for coming. Anytime, bud. It felt good to yell at that creep, too. I've been the baby of the group for so long, it felt good to be scary. Uh. So sick of using... You know what? I'm not gonna ask. I know you want me to ask, Seven. I'm not gonna give you that satisfaction. In fact, I'm gonna make that a completely different word. I'm so sick of using mustard. You don't even know. Uh. Though, I was kind of venting, too. It's not all big dumb idiot's fault. I got some bad news tonight. You wanna talk about it? Yeah, I guess I do. Thanks for asking. Mm. Sung Woo, the front man of Blade Generation, he's changing his name. I hope it's to like six. <laughs> hope it's to like, his name's gonna be Lucky. Can you believe that? He's so lucky. He's a star, but he cries, cries, cries through his lonely heart. It's an English word, even though that's, that's my, that's my thing. Are you joking right? What? You didn't, you don't own English, Seven. It was the only thing that made me special to the group. Now I'm nothing. That, are you? I, I can't with this guy. <laughs> it's like I don't even matter to him, to our agent, to anyone. You matter to me, Seven. Can I distract you some way with smooches and butts? Like, I don't know what to tell you. Your problem is silly. <laughs> Thanks. I won't tell you your problem, silly, because everybody's problems have worth and merit and emotional health is, health is important, but your, fa your band front runner, I can't talk, your band front runner changing their name to an English name is not a slight against you. I don't know. I trusted Sung Woo, so his betrayal hurts, but it's more than that. I feel like my whole career is a joke to them, destroyed at a moment's notice. You've done nothing for your career but date me for like the past three weeks, Seven. Hmm. I spent all this time faking it till I made it, and I was just a nobody after all. I was hoping for the briefest moment that the other guy was going to change the name to nine. Seven was going to bitch about him picking a higher number, and then he could have made a seven, eight, nine joke. Yeah, I was. I was thinking it'd be a different number, but he's changing his name to a completely different. If he was changing his name to a different number, I would understand that seven would have, um, you know, he would have a problem with that because yeah, that's clearly, you know, taking his thing. Every time I've chosen the physical reaction has turned out okay. And this is like, what, date three? I think Seven would be okay with a hug, right? Aw, good. He leans into your arms, swallowing the tears. Eventually, he pulls back. Uh... Lucky is still connected to Seven. That's true. Oh, uh, I had some extra apples, so I thought you might want some. What do you mean you had some extra apples? He presses a small bag of peeled, chopped apples Later. into your hand. Where were you keeping those? We've been on a date. We've been on a date. Um, I have to go. It'd be good to dunge later to uh, take the edge off. Thanks for, tonight. Thanks for tonight. You know what? You gave me apples, I guess. So I'll give you... I, I got a bunch of things. I'm going to give you... Would he like black nail polish? He might. <laughs> Paint brushes straight from the horse's butt. I think black nail polish would go best for uh, for Rowan. Paint brushes. I think I'm gonna give those to Rowan. I think the malt scotch would it would go best for uh, like Sunder. Tarot deck also would go good for Rowan. That's a, uh, a tarot deck. I'm going to give that to Rowan. I'm going to give him the... Uh, I'm going to give him the scotch. I think the scotch is supposed to go to Sunder, and Sunder doesn't need it. Oh, single malts... A whole bottle of malt scotch? After I just told you how sad I was? That's uh, unhealthy. Thanks. You head home. 
not <laughs> big dumb idiot. We're just all we're just all in the group chat talking like, talking shit about big dumb idiot. And a thing Isaac would enjoy as well. Uh, yeah, I could see that, but he's got plenty of love. He doesn't need any more. <laughs> he doesn't need any more love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sawyer, what you got? We've been we've been patient. Sometimes I feel weird about being a glaive. Like I'm told that's the best word for what I am, but it sort of just means sword. Like glaive sounds cool, Sawyer. Thanks, smiley face. I can like with I can live with you. I can't talk. I can live with it if you like it, smiley face. Oh dang, oh dang. I already owe you one or two or three, but I have to ask. I'm in trouble with my prof. Can you back me up at the college? I'm not good for standing up for myself. I'll be there, Toyer. Building H, room five. You got it. Hold on, I need to, time to tend to change my outfit. We, we need to dress up if we're gonna meet Sawyer's teacher. Seven just sent a text that said, I don't care if you date other people. It's like, you know what? I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to, thank you. I'm, uh, you're number six on the list of, uh, on the list of people I'm dating. So, um, thanks for the heads up. You got it, bud. Is there a sailor suit? I don't think there's a sailor suit. I got the anime t-shirt and the angels, the angel shirt. If there is a uh, sailor suit, I don't have it yet. Uh, do I want to wear, here we go. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm ready to meet his professor. <laughs> let's, uh, let's stop by the store and see if we can pick up some fabric. Uh, I'm gonna buy a keychain. Um, do I have plenty of sugar? I do, and plenty of wi wire. I've got plenty of that. Oh God, who's that? That's um, Jesse and Seven. Oof. I'm gonna wait a minute to meet them or see what they're up to. Going through here. Let's grab this shop. And I'm without a weapon, loving you is war. This is a stupid, complicated way of doing this. Just, just sell me plastic, thank you. And now we can make a few more things. So before. Sawyer's desperate for us to get there, but I think Sawyer can wait about two seconds for us to make some gifts. Uh, we're gonna make ourselves a party hat, which might be our new uh, helmet. Sawyer's like, thank goodness you, you, why are you wearing a party hat? I need to look professional. Why are you the way you are? I'll be like, you wanted to date me. I found 29 outfits. I don't know if that's all of them. I doubt it is. I found eight zines, which just I, th I think is the last one. Uh, but I haven't found everything. I have not found all of the items, I guess. Where's that party hat? Find more money more often. Oh, heck yeah. I'm also going to switch out the zine for... Creates an allied turret. No thanks. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to the bug zine. All right now I'm ready to go save uh, Sawyer from their teacher. Who's this? Is that Sawyer? I don't recognize who that is. Is that Sawyer? Oh, it's a, no, it's Valeria. I haven't seen Valeria all day. You find Valeria and Isaac oh, relaxing together. <laughs> I don't think 30 points is a uh, sound clip, is it? It should be. A 
thought it was. At 30 points. Hmm, maybe not. It should be one. Uh, it depends on my mood, of course, but perhaps the brie, walnut, and rosemary waffles I had a few summers ago. It was probably mostly butter, but if so, I bet it was from a very happy cow. And for, are we talking to Ted Cruz? Hmm? Freshly churned that day, and you? Hmm, tough call. I'd say the pork ribs I had on a street corner in New Orleans, probably. <laughs> I just can't resist a bit of spice. Hey. Oh, Jeff, what about you? What's the best thing you've ever eaten? Um, I'd say it was home cooked. You described one of your favorite home-based memories. You helped your family all day with the meal until the whole house smelled like it. <laughs> I got PK ass. You feel a brief wave of homesickness just thinking about that day. When you describe it to Isaac and Valeria, you feel yourself blushing. Well, that one definitely should work. Yes, we got a full tank of dicks! <laughs> hmm, that'd be perfect. Thank you for sharing your lovely memory with us. Sounds like a big commitment, but at least it's one with a payoff. Maybe we should meet for a cheese and wine plate sometime to compare notes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love that. Come by the studio anytime. I, I thought that said, we'll try not to get paint on your shit. <laughs> Just be careful not to get paint on your shit. Right. Right. I don't want to get paint on my shit. Absolutely. Yeah. See you there. Valeria, you're not getting any more love. We've got plenty of love. Nice seeing you both. You all go your separate ways. <laughs> Poor Sawyer. Sawyer's like, thanks for rushing. <laughs> where's the, where's the, where's the, uh... Art studio, there's the college. Alright, Sawyer, let's do this. You arrived at the classroom to find Sawyer being scolded by the world's biggest nerd. Or his, their history professor. You simply cannot survive in this world if you're always forgiven for every mistake. I know, I'm really sorry, but I'll make it up to you. The professor raises an eyebrow as he notices you. Are you here for the next class? We're almost done. No, he's with me. As a friend, I ask for support. Support? Am I so very intimidating, even to someone as sharp as yourself? Professor, please, if you let me retake the test, I'll show you. I know the material. I'm not going to say, did you cheat again? Good Christ. What happened? I was a few seconds late turning in my final, and he gave me a zero out of a hundred. Well, that sounds like you're a jackass. Please, Professor, I'm begging you. I need this credit. I have no interest in your groveling. It's a policy. You knew the rules. I'm just being fair to the other students. If I fail this course, everything is ruined. I can't afford to take it again. They've learned their lesson? Have they, though? Or have they learned they just need to cry a little bit to get their way? Stop being a dick. They showed up within 10 minutes. It's fine. The Sawyer looks at the professor looks at Sawyer thoughtfully. Did I let Sawyer answer? I'm thinking they're not manipulating you. Yeah. The professor sighs, exasperated. I don't trust Sawyer to be able to to uh, find their voice. <sighs> no, I suppose they aren't. Though they might get ahead if they tried tactics other than sincerity someday. <sighs> This isn't a class in lying, it's history, and my test will show I learned it. Just look at it. Oh, very well, only dock 20% of your grade. Now off with you both. I mean, that's something, I guess, but you're still a dick. Sawyer murmurs a quick thank you, and they leave the classroom in a hurry. You can't fight all their battles with them, you know. Some things, you know what, I kind of feel like this professor... This doesn't feel realistic, because I think this kind of professor would be like, oh, and you want me to call you they, them, too? Like, this isn't a realistic scenario. It's like, 
th this person who is this hard rigid about being five minutes late would not respect someone's pronouns. 1000% on that one. Some things they have to face on their own. Punch the professor in the face. You shut up about my friend. You follow Sawyer out and you walk in silence together for a few minutes. You find yourselves on the beach. Sawyer looks out over the ocean thoughtfully. I almost totally tanked my semester there just by not paying attention for a few minutes. It's scary how quickly things can change. Like when you cook something at a heat that's too high. Thanks for trying to help. Your support means a lot. I just wish education only measured my learning and cared less about rules and conforming. You know what? Rules are useful sometimes, but I don't think Sawyer is looking for a uh, lecture right now. Definitely. Huh. You get me. But I guess the world cares about power more than facts and knowledge, huh? It makes sense. No matter how hard you try, someone with power over you can take everything away. Not everything, Sawyer. Yeah. Nobody can stop us, right? Nope. Except for Sunder, Valenda, Valeria, uh, Luke, Jonah, Pocket. Pocket, mostly. Love is something they can't take away. Sawyer leans into you for a long hug. They wipe their eyes. Come on, Chef. Semester's over. Summer's coming to an end. It's just you and me. Let's celebrate. I'm hungry. What do you say we grill up something on the beach barbecue? Like what? You know we have to bring a thing, right? You want to catch something? You handle the fire part and I'll get some ingredients. What do you want? My treat. Uh, I don't remember a Sawyer. Uh, whatever. Uh-huh. Grilled eggs and blueberries, the Sawyer special, coming right up. I hate to break it to you, Sawyer, but it's non-binary love is something they'll totally try. 100%, yeah. Sawyer is being hopelessly optimistic here, which God bless them, but... You spend the evening grilling and chatting, watching the sunset. If she brought... If they brought blueberries to the grill, I don't know what to tell you. You know, Jeff... I wouldn't have survived this semester without you. You almost failed this semester, thanks to me. Financially, academically, or nutritionally. I don't know what you're planning on after this summer, but... But... Whoa. Even if you leave Verona Beach, I'll always love you. <sighs> Sawyer. Love you too, champ. Oof. Throw does damage against the return. Okay, sure. I learned so much from you this summer. I'm a stronger, more resilient person now because of you. But I've been wanting to ask, why do I oil the pans for potatoes and not bacon? You discuss cooking techniques, but somehow it leads to a long, sandy kiss. Eventually, you both rearrange your clothes and go home. You've reached maximum love rank with Sawyer the Glaive. Thank God, and we got a Chivo too. Let's check our message. Hope you're having a good day, Chef. You too. You too, Sawyer. You bet. You put in effort to have a good day every day, then after you leave Verona Beach, you'll remember it as a happy place. One where your love Sawyer is waiting for you patiently. Sawyer, God... Jesus Christ. And come back soon. Deal? Okay, you need to calm down. Deal. Your thing. Good. That's all we can do. Okay. Leaving you on red. Um, oh, shit. What, what, what was that? I missed one. Well, uh-oh. Did you get fired? Oh, my God. Please tell me you didn't turn into an axe in front of a kid again. You okay? I don't know. The head chef just called me a big dumb butcher's knife. Which, first of all, butcher's knives are good people too. But she was super rude and wouldn't... I'm trying to think of Jonah as Kevin from The Office. But she was super rude and wouldn't listen. So I left. <laughs> you, 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 you quit? Yeah. 
Yep. I mean, I don't want to go back, so gotta look for a new job already. Uh, meet me at the beach if you want to chat sometimes. Uh, later. Okay. Oh, Isaac, seven. I think we owe seven another date, right? You know what? Sometimes chefs are nice. OMG, that, that big dumb idiot guy. You actually dated him? I don't care if you date other people, but that guy? Bleh. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I, I have no memories of that date with Big Dumb Idiot. I don't, that was so long ago. Oh, sorry for teasing you. I'm lucky you didn't give up on dating forever. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed your apples that were never pictured in the game. It's been cool going to the dunge. Uh, but it's not exactly cozy. I've seen... I can't read. I saw a post... Poster... Cool. Jump. <laughs> I'd invite you to watch TV, but my agent has this place bugged for sure. What? Uh, I'm gonna let that slide, I guess. You wanna come over? Cool, I'll be there soon. You have a few minutes before seven will be there. You're struck by sudden anxiety. Your apartment feels suffocatingly dirty and boring. I like how the, uh, I like how we close the achievements drawer in the back so we can have this date wherever we are in the, uh, in the dungeon. Um, we need to, uh, we need to breathe. Can we call and cancel? <laughs> that would be funny. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you try calling seven, but he doesn't. <laughs> See at the door? You imagine his face of disgust and disappointment, and your heart hammers in your chest. Everything goes dark. Are we having another anxiety attack? Oh my goodness. You feel a hand on your shoulder and hear, Hey, hey, it's okay, breathe. Slowly, you take a shaky breath and open your eyes. Hey. I'm here. I have a glass of water for you. Please tell me you didn't let Katana in after you. I'm sorry. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Don't apologize. I know it's embarrassing, but trust me, I don't judge. I also poop my pants violently when I pass out. It is a normal thing. If anything, I'm sorry if I caused it somehow. I don't want to make things harder for you. I know how it is to have issues. Not, not anxiety, exactly, but I'm uh, chronically depressed. I thought it was maybe the stress of Blade Generation at first, but I'm sure Blade Generation doesn't make it easier, but depression is part of who I am. I'm mostly on top of it. Therapy, meds, routines, they help me manage. Uh. But if I seem cold sometimes, that's why. Old coping habits, mostly. Thanks for telling me, Seven. It's harder now that Sung Woo is getting closer to my territory, but... I was really glad you invited me over today. I've been stewing. Oh, thanks. Here's some glasses, I guess. This fashion designer sent these for a sponsorship, but I think they'd look better on me. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> I guess so. Fancier than apples, anyways. As for tonight, there's a new series I'd like to binge. Chronosite. Okay. Nope. Chronosite. And you is war. Boyfriend dungeon. No? Huh. I thought that that would be like a reference. I guess not. It's a detective mystery show set in the future. And I brought cheesies as a snack, too. I love snacks. What? Whoa, I found your weak spot? Cool. I like eating lips. Mine too. But you can have most of them. My agent will kill me if I overdo it anyways. We need to have a talk with your agent. He falls into your couch and you put on Chronosite. It seems to mostly take place in alleys with smoking vents at night. They keep hinting that the detective can transform into a weapon, but not what kind. Whatever way I step, Fade is waiting to trip me up. And maybe you should trip her first. 
Seven munches on a cheesy. He glances at you, sidelong. Move closer to seven. We're just going to snuggle in. He drapes his arm over you comfortably without looking away from the screen. Look, there's no more than six bullet holes. Somehow, he had time to over... She had time to reload. That's impossible, unless... Snuggling close, you can feel tension tightening Seven's chest and arms and balls. The detective's assistance is short-lived and dies under mysterious circumstances. Wait, play that recording again. The voice in the call is smoky and jazzy. You'll never take me alive, cyber cop. I'm the garrot. No, I'm a garrot, and there's only room for one in this town. Oh, good to see you. Wait, in the world of weapons, you 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 got you got to be a garrot. <laughs> Feels like a shitty weapon. No no disrespect intended. But seems like a pretty low weapon to pick in the hierarchy. You are acutely aware of Seven's breathing next to you. Um let's kiss his fingers just like a little just like a little just like a little just like a little, that sort of thing. You taste soft skin with a hint of artificial cheese powder. Delicious? His breath catches at the touch of your lips as if you burned him. He draws you closer. The show fades into background noise without meaning or relevance. Whoa! We just had woohoo. Eventually, he pulls away, cheeks flushed. The chronosite credits are rolling. You interlace your fingers comfortably, trying to act casual. You enjoy the rest of the show together until the credits roll. It seems like all we did was smooching. It, they're very clear when there's some actual boinking happening. Would you like to offer a gift? Sure. Um, do you want some sneakers? You can have some sneakers. I made these. You don't like anything. Hmm. I really like you, but I should go home. Why not stay? I don't want to move too fast. It's backfired on me before. You haven't tried him? I did a little earlier, I'm pretty sure. I get hurt easily. Also, I am... Uh, you haven't tried him? To I still need to uh, get him up levels, I think. I'll look at him in the uh, phone in a second. I get hurt easily. My therapist says... Uh, I mean... I think I should be careful. Don't, don't be weird about that. Therapy is fine. Please understand. I'll look forward to, to the next time. Trust me. I will plow your insides from the inside out if you, if that's what you want. But I just need five seconds, okay? Look, I don't know how to say this, but I'm into you. I have big decisions coming up, and even your friendship would mean a lot. Look, I'm here for you, Seven. I know you are. Thanks, Jeff. I'll text you. Later. He lets himself out. The taste of cheesy nips still on my lips. Yeah, looking at him, he's got... Oh, God. Everybody is so powered up. Except for... Uh, oh, God. The Scythe needs a level... Leah has a lot. We haven't had a date with Leah yet at all tonight. We need to have a date with Leah. Uh, this is the this is the character kitty. You know that. No 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 being weird. This is just Jeff. I, I think we went on a date with the Jonah though. We haven't been on a date with uh, Leah like at all. Who's this? Leah and Isaac. Let's grab these two. You find Leah deep in a mount of discarded clothes, sorting through them for Isaac. Surely you want to wear some colors sometimes, just a little bit. Right. I do. The differences between black and pearl and after midnight are nothing to sneeze at, my dear. But what about, you know, actual colors like green or purple? <sighs> Isaac looks away uncomfortably. Orange? 
I think you went on a date with Leah where her former... Yes, we went on that... I, I meant like tonight. We haven't been on a date tonight with her. Like we haven't touched Leah like at all this evening, I'm pretty sure. Isaac seizes on your presence to change the topic. Oh, hello, oh, hello Jeff. Truly, you are interested in trying on some uh, boldly colored clothes. Uh, need help, Leah? Uh, Thanks, but it's ultimately up to him, isn't it? I can't force him. It wasn't even my idea. I, I was going to offer pink to him, in which he would have been just like, <gasps> Pink? No! This wasn't even my idea, remember? You said you wanted a wardrobe refresh. So buck up, be brave. You are strong enough to wear orange. I believe in you. I did defeat my fears of masculinity, or I thought I did, and Vincent would hate it. All right, I'll try it. Wish me luck. Leah smiles and makes shooing motions at Isaac towards the dressing rooms. Isaac grits his teeth and marches into the changing room with a handful of colored shirts. You hear clothes being tried on with slightly panicked undertones. There's an ominous silence, then an anguished cry. What's wrong? Are you okay? Do I need to burst down the door? <sighs> Isaac reemerges in the same old dirty clothes. I just... I just can't do it. I can't open this door wearing this. It's too much. Sorry to disappoint you both. You tried. Damn. I don't think he's gonna dress up in anything but black suits, so I don't think we're gonna have any options. I took some photos I can look at later and just put into the spank bank to maybe help get used to the idea. Do you think less of me? A hundred percent, yes. Oh, Zach, don't be silly. Let's get back to your favorite tailor and ask about Black and Pearl then. Yes. yes, thank you. Oh God, that sounds more accommodating, yes. Maybe we can try this again someday. I'll, I'll work on it. You do that. In the meantime, I'm getting this one for Carlos. He'll love it. The hell's Carlos? Carlos, her dance partner, or I don't remember that. Say goodbye and head off together, discussing cufflinks and lapels. All right, we've got a date with Leah. I'm pretty sure, right? She at the beach? No, it was Lucas was at the beach, or Jonas. Meet me at the skating rink, yes. Oh, maybe we can get fries or something. Nothing beats arena fries. I'm... You're gonna need a big citation on that one. You find Leah alone. I think I'm gonna go to bed after this one. <laughs> you find Leah... I'm, I'm tired. Uh, skating long, meditative strokes. Her blades carve a deep, ripping sound into the ice. She sees you and comes to a stop beside the boards. Hi. Jeff! Oh, I like her dress. It's good to see a friendly face. Don't forget handsome face. <laughs> and so very modest too, but funny is exactly what I need today. Takes off her skates. Her fingers pull at the laces quickly, automatically. I've been working with the student, Sophia, very talented. She wipes the blades dry and puts the skates in her bag. <sighs> but she's unfocused, frustrated. She struggles with a double axle. Ooh, I hate it when that happens. But I bet your triple flip is gorgeous. <laughs> she laughs, then sighs, and slips her feet into sandals. Sophia's really tough. I think she'll get it if we keep working on it. Every time she falls, she gets right back up without complaining and tries again. But her mom... Her mom stands by the boards the entire practice, shouting. Sophia, you're not trying. Sophia, you're wasting time. Ugh! Ugh! Makes me want to turn into an ice an ice uh, hammer. Who could possibly focus with that kind of harassment? Sorry, it just really gets under my skin, even just thinking about it. She exhales slowly and seems to regain her composure. I'd ask her to leave, but the association is on my case to make her happy. How can I deliver results if she keeps interfering and psyching Sophia out? 
Leah smash, uh, glares as if she could smash the ice with a look. Lure her to the dunge. The mom? What do you think she'd learn in there? Dodge more. <laughs> Is that what I'm doing wrong? Not enough hammer attacks? Yeah. Maybe we should bring her with us to the dungeon. If she has the skating association wrapped around her finger, monsters should be no match. Do we get to see the mom? She stretches, relaxing. Do you like to offer a gift? Sure. I don't need to, but uh, she might want something. She might like the paintbrushes. Nope. She hates them. Let's go for a walk. Get some fresh air. I have no pockets, okay? She, you follow her out into the sunlight. Sometimes I daydream about doing something else. Enemies who hit wall are also stunned or take extra damage. Damage. She looks like she's afraid of being followed. Her voice drops to a whisper. Something outside of skating. Like what? Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I still love skating and coaching is something I'm learning. But I miss, I don't know, my own training. And I have creative interests too. Like, she looks around again, still suspicious. Wow. Tell me when you're ready, Leah. Maybe another time. I just don't know if I want to make it real by saying it out loud. You notice you're on a secluded path under a beautiful shade tree. So, not to change the topic, but I totally want to change mm -hmm. the topic. Is your kissing as point as on point? You want to smooch? Let's find out. She looks at you shyly and then leans in for a kiss that deepens and grows sensual yet somehow athletic. After a few passionate moments, you separate. Wow, you taste like K-pop star. Seems like the answer is yes. I hope we can do more of it soon. Um... But you know, work and everything. I don't know my schedule either. We can play it by ear. Bye. Bye. Leah, which, Leah inches away with a little smile, waving goodbye. You head home. I was hoping that a big dumb idiot wouldn't come. Like I saw that slide, like that subtle slide over to the side. I was a little worried that someone would come over and just completely ruin the, uh, completely ruin the atmosphere. 